Gur Beagley! Hey there, it's Gur Beagley, and today I'm playing a game called The Cheap and Sheep, which is apparently a tile matching puzzle style game where we have to match three of the same tile to clear them off the board, according to the game here. So, very simplistic premise. I've seen this in other similar styles of puzzle games, but just knowing how these games go, the challenge is going to increase as we keep playing. So let's jump on in. It looks like it wants me to tap the sheep and the sheep. So good job. There's one more. Okay. And boom. Yep. They just disappeared just like that. Okay. And then I'm assuming it wants me to clear the rest of the board. This is a very small tutorial board from the looks of it. All right. So now, okay. Okay. Thank goodness. All right. So these three can be put up together. These three can be put up together. That clears that space for that. Uh oh. All right. Can we get the. Nope. Okay. So, how do I get the pig then? How do I get the third pig that's under this one? Because now they're not going to line up. If I click the sheep, he's going to go right next to the pig, and that's not going to match, right? Oh, it goes on the other side. Oh, so it auto matches. So, you can't get stuck on moves. It auto matches with what you put it on the board. Okay. Difficulty soars. Uh oh. All right. Well, that's going to make things difficult so what's this thing a cow it's like a bull that's like really weird <laughs> we got grapes okay that's that's good that's easy this is cute so far i like the art style i like again that it's a very um familiar premise to what i've played before Ooh, big peaches some flowers uh but obviously has its own spin on things so like here i gotta try this so two sheep in a row and then I'm like, oh, but uh, there's these chicken guys here. Ah, oh, but uh, I, I can't get to the other chicken guy for whatever reason. I'm going to click the sheep. All right, so it auto, like it heat seeks. It goes in and it hits the road that it's supposed to. Now, I'm assuming once we fill this up and we don't have any matches, then we lose the game, which I, I don't want to do. Is there this treasure chest over here? What's that guy all about? Get coins? Oh, if you watch ads, you can get coins. I don't know what the coins are for. Probably for these which look like they're hints. Maybe they like rearrange or tell you which tiles to click, something like that. So I don't think I'm gonna be needing those though, because this is again, a very simplistic concept that I'm pretty used to. I played a lot of games like this growing up. There was one I remember on old Mac computers called Gunshy that I loved when I was a child. Uh, I played it on my grandpa's laptop. Uh oh. And as I've said this, I think I might have just messed up. <laughs> I think I might have just messed up big time. I was just clicking uh, sets of two instead of planning ahead to click. Okay, so what happens? Grid full, progress only 9%. Okay, you can revive and continue the challenge by uh, paying 100 coins. Or you can. I can just restart. I'm just going to restart. I'm just going to restart. I'm going to go through again. That was a silly mistake on my behalf. But now that I know what's up, hopefully I won't make it again. I would just, I think part of it was I was testing out the, uh, the heat seeking tiles when you click one and it goes to the, <laughs> to match with the other three that are on the board. So if I click one and then I like click grape. Okay. Yeah. Moves over to allow me to have space for those, those little duck feet, whatever those are. <laughs> I like this. This is cute. It's really cute. Again, it feels like very low stress, but there's obviously some challenge to the game. So you're not going to get bored out of your mind. Uh, and it's it just like, it's kind of peaceful as a result. Like it's the perfect melding of keeping my mind a little bit active, but also not over investing my mental resources. I can just sort of go Ah, uh, what matches on the board, huh? Okay, those ones, cool. Feels good to clear off part of the board. There's something very cathartic about being able to remove a bunch of stuff from a board until it's like all broken down. I don't know what it is exactly, but that is something that makes my brain feel so happy whenever I play these types of games. So yeah, this is very fun. I'm liking it, okay. And I can't put the tiles back once I put them down into the slots, so clicking that's futile but that's okay it's futile to resist but that's all right i don't need to do that because i have the power of perception to see where three at a time are although i'm going kind of slow i won't lie i'm feeling a little bit like a boomer here where i'm i'm going a little bit slow on this one i'm just trying to figure out okay strategically now i actually kind of have to look ahead what's under these tiles that i can get to that's going to cause me to do a match three that I can unveil in the smallest amount of clicks. Oh, some duck feet, okay. 
All right, that's good at least. That's very good. Okay, get those. Got some piggies. Got that type of piggy as well. It's interesting that a lot of the animals have a straight on face shot and then some of them also for the same type of animal have like an over the top isometric view of them find that interesting all right chickens freshly revealed chickens very good i think if i do that yeah i can get that sheepy guy and then we get this weird looking duck who's looking real confused he's like i don't even know i'm here man ah oh, all right so those only you can get by watching ads and i'm not going to waste part of the video watching ads i'm going to be sitting here trying to complete at least one board because I am failing so far to go quickly enough. Okay. So do that to unveil that. Get those out of the way there. Get this guy out of the way. Very good. Now I'm picking up a little bit of heat. Now I'm picking up the speed. Now I'm gaming. All right. There we go. So, hey, yeah, the board's looking... It's looking pretty good so far. Gotta say, thinking ahead, taking a couple risky clicks here just to try to expedite the speed at which I'm going so oh my god I can't believe we're not even close like it does not feel like I'm even close to clearing the board at this point there's got to be an end to the tiles though right this isn't just like endless mode to see how far you can go I'm pretty sure it's like clear the board because we are making some spaces open up there's just so much so many get the froggies out of there all right the piggies are out of there too no? Okay, I, I think I clicked on the wrong thing. I got distracted. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Froggies, more froggies, more peaches. These are very, very tall little stacks of things. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Weird sheep. Goofy-looking sheep guy. Goofy-looking pig guy. More goofy-looking pig guys. Not really ready to line up quite yet, though. Don't have a match three for them. They're just sort of there in the way. All right, uh, these pears? I think those are pears. Yep, all right, there we go. Now we've opened up a whole world of possibilities. I'm liking this, this is good. Again, this is the type of game, I say this every single time I play one of these, where if you just got like a few minutes, uh, you know, between like work breaks and stuff like that, like where you can get in a quick game on your lunch break or something, uh, this is perfect. This is the perfect type of game to just shut off your brain a little bit, relax, kick back, but still, like, stimulate your mind in some way and not waste too much time. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to click that little piggy guy. Uh-oh, he's down there now, taking up his space. But fortunately, most of the stuff is lining up for me pretty well here. Oh my god, will it ever end, though? Oh, I feel like I've been on this one board for, like, 20 minutes now. I know it hasn't been that long yet, but... It could very well be that long based on the speed that I'm going. I'm just trying to use my old, old eyes to find things that match up together here. This one's fun, though. Uh, it just... Oh, boy. Uh, I, I gotta go to the eye doctor, I think, after this video. That might be something that I have to do. <laughs> there's just... There's a lot happening here on the screen for me, sensory-wise. All right. So, we have this little piggy guy... Punching my mic there. Uh, we got the little bush. Okay, this kind of pig can be cleared up. Duck feet can be cleared up. Ooh, almost out of space. So one misclick will end me at this point. So I got to be really careful here about what the order is that I'm unveiling all these guys. Okay, flowers next. Grapes next. Oh my god, that would have been a misclick if there was an open tile there. That would have been the end of me. It would have been the end of my reputation as the best tile clicker. I literally was bragging at the beginning of this video of, oh, I played these games when I was growing up, so it shouldn't be that hard of a thing. And now it's become increasingly challenging as I, as I play this. All right, good. Oh, got those piggies out of there. Finally, they are gone. They are no longer a threat to me. They're no longer a threat to you either. So I hope that I get some praise for that, for saving your life from the animal tiles that are stacking up rapidly here in this game. All right, where the heck should I even go from here is the question. Okay, triple cow. Again, running out of space real fast here, though. All right, triple cow is done. What else is available? Oh, no. Uh, if I do this, will that pair open up? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness we got that pair because that was not feeling like it was going to open up all the way. Got those sheepies out. All right, I need bushes, I need chickens, and I need that kind of sheep. I might... I might take the risk here. I might take the risk here. I might do... 
that. Okay, that was good because I got a peach. Got a peach out of it, and these two sheep are now teamed up here. Unfortunately, I don't see another one of those peeking out of anywhere, so I've now lost a space, and I have no guarantees that I'm going to open up anything that's going to allow me to clear more of the board. This is actually way harder than the one I grew up with. The, the one I grew up with, I was like five, and I was able to complete it. Um, I, I just lost. I just accidentally- 64%, that was it! I'm, I must be worse at these than I thought. The one that I played growing up, like a, a five-year-old, a six-year-old could beat it. This one, I'm, I'm a bit older than that now, and I've, I've been humbled. 64% isn't even a passing grade in a lot of schools. Ah, I'm gonna have to come back to this one because unfortunately I am out of time, but this was so fun! This was a really, really fun game. I like the amount of challenge that there is in here. But also, again, it's, you know, nice, relaxing music, really goofy, very, very cute artwork going on here. And the sound effects, you know, aren't super abrasive or anything like that. And it feels good to clear up that board. Hopefully, when I come back to this, whenever that is, I'll be able to finally 100% a board. But until then, it's going to be up to you to try to do so. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching me fail, though. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.